Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about shaving soaps and more specifically about the soap that I believe might be the best option for sensitive skin. We're gonna check Canada shaving soap. I randomly found that soap, um, not many people talk about it online. There are some people that say that it's pretty good, but it's not very common. And I stumbled on it um, after my experience with Pro Russell White soap, which is also for sensitive skin. But after three or four usages, I realized that my skin uh, has problem with it. Um, the first sign was even after the first shave, I was getting a lot more intense uh, and harsh alum block feedback. And that was something that I experienced when I use usually cartridge razors which is something that I avoid now. Uh, and yeah, after the fourth time using the ProRasso soap, uh, my skin started uh, just having rashes on big red patches. So I'm one of the few folks uh, that probably doesn't get along with it or some of the ingredients that are there. Um, I'm not alone, fortunately. I, I searched a little bit about it. So there are other people that are experiencing the same. So if you have sensitive skin and you decide to use Pro Rasso, uh, just be mindful about the white line, even though that it's designed for sensitive skin, um, it may cause some issues. The interesting thing about this soap is that it uses only seven ingredients um, and they claim that they don't want to add anything that it's not really needed. They try to use high quality natural ingredients as much as possible. So I'm very curious to try. Uh, let's put some hot water in the soap. That's how it looks after you open it. It's full to the brim. I imagine that it will last for quite some time, which is cool thing. So I'm just gonna put some hot water. Uh, one cool thing about uh, the soap is that it comes with uh, instruction manual. So if you're new to the shaving, you can follow it. But also a pretty uh, long uh, handwritten thank you note uh, from the founder of the company. Um, and I, I don't mind reading it for you. Feel free to skip it. That's too boring But I think that it's a nice touch Thank you for your order as a small family run business. We appreciate each and every order We take great pride in producing a world-class shaving soap or artisan small batch process or use of only the finest of ingredients and our insistence uh, on aging or soap for an unheard of five months before we allow it to be sold it's truly a, a labor of love. The results are so worth it. Enjoy your shaving experience. Signed by Peter, the founder and master soap maker of the Canada Shaving Soap. Really nice touch. And it's not just a single thank you note handwritten. It's a long message. So I like to support small businesses, especially if they're in Canada. So we're going to stick to the team uh, and everything that I'm going to use is going to be suitable for sensitive skin. As I mentioned, the soap and all its qualities, I'm going to use the safety razor that I use the most. Obviously, my experience is uh, mainly with cartridge razors, which are now in the past. I'm going to use my synthetic brush by Sterling Soap Company. It's a really good brush, uh, very budget friendly, uh, very easy to maintain. You just put it uh, for a brief moment under the hot water and it's ready to use. Uh, I really like that about the synthetic brushes. That's something that, oh wow, I just touched it. Didn't expect this to be so quick. I just touched the brush to the soap and we see the ladder is all over the place. If you watch my Apex review, I mentioned there that I like to ladder up in a bowl. So this will be a good test, but I think that we already see some spectacular results. I didn't expect that. That's already good to go for multiple passes. Uh, but just so we have a nice reference, I'm gonna move to my bowl. Just to remove the soap. There is too much soap. Already lathered super well. <clears throat> That's fantastic. Within five seconds, you're ready to go literally on your face. I feel that probably my, my next shave with the soap will be skip the ball part and 
go on your face because it's instant leather. Yeah, you see the, the brush is loaded, nice and slick. So now I'm gonna prepare my face with warm water and uh, we'll move to the first pass. Okay, the face is nice and warm. The whiskers are hydrated with the water and We have Rockwell 6S, which is great razor, really popular. Um, I may make another video talking about it in details. I'm gonna use today, what do I have here? I don't remember, ah yeah, Play 4. It's one of my go-to settings. And we're going with the first pass, with the green. The soap provides nice slickness, even after I go over with the razor. The gliding is pleasant, which is something that we want. When using safety razors for first time you may feel a bit weird by the fact that you have to turn them around. Uh, just something to be reminded of. After a few shaves it's really a no-brainer. So far in my collection I have mainly creams so my soap experience is quite little. But comparing to my creams, uh, most of them don't provide that leftover slickness compared to this soap. It's been a while since I used this razor, because ever since I got um, Apex by Ellsworth Razors, <laughs> it was my go-to choice, it's just so enjoyable. And you can check my video, I did a review of it, uh, if you're interested. I'll add a link in one of the top corners of this video, so feel free to check it out. Yeah. That was great first pass and absolutely no irritation on the skin from the soap and the blade. Rockwell is great for that. So if you if you're looking for for a razor uh, either to to start your safety razor journey or if you have uh, problems with your current razor and your skin is more sensitive, the Rockwell is really really great choice. Okay, I'm gonna rinse with warm water and we're gonna move to the second pass. Uh, that feeling of hydration and slickness is still there after rinsing, um, which makes me think that um, the soap provides really good protection. Because uh, we're gonna do one more pass. Plenty of lather in the brush. This is for like another three passes maybe and quite a few extra in the, in the bowl. Um, I'm actually surprised. Uh, how well this lathers. It's easier than, than a cream. And my initial impression for soaps was that it's harder to lather compared to creams. That's what uh, made me purchase first some creams for my initial shaves. Yeah, that, that sleekness and the way that the soap sticks, the ladder sticks to your face after the first pass, it's really good. I do a thin layer for the second and the third pass. Going for the second pass, 
cross the grain. That slickness that I keep on mentioning, um, I really feel difference compared to my other creams when I go on my neck area, which is my sensitive area. Sliding through was really, really smooth and uh, felt safer than usual. I don't know if this is the soap or it was me missing, uh, missing using the Rockwell razor. The balance of the Rockwell is um, very uh, very uh, heavy in the head as you can see it's a bit bulkier which makes it uh, probably good choice for beginners as well because when you do your your pass you should allow the razor to do the work all right we have a small weeper there one little dot Probably an ingrown hair. I had a feeling that the other day I have something going on there. Yeah, the slickness really helps with the neck area. Some people they like to switch the plates. I do that myself sometimes. Today I just don't have time for that. I need to hurry up for work. Yeah, really good. This will be it for today. Just a two pass quick shave. We are almost at the BBS area. Yeah, even the neck. The, re the neck feels so smooth, which is not typical. Uh, and I know how the razor behaves. Usually I need to do more touch ups. That sleekness. Uh, really helps for cross the grain passes. We're gonna rinse now with cold water and we're gonna move to the post shave. Rinse with cold water, very refreshing for the face. And now we're moving to our good friend, the Allen block. That ingrown part definitely will tingle a little bit. We need to close that. Yeah, just a little bit of tingling actually, I was expecting a bit more. Aside from that, nothing much in the other areas, just in this other side of my neck. But these are my usual sensitive spots. Alan Block, it's a natural product, uh, really good for your skin. Really a game changer and if you wonder how, how bad for your face it is to use a cartridge razor, compared to safety razor uh, just just do a test the most irritation and tingling aside from my skin reaction to the Florasso white soap uh, I got from cartridge razors after you do the Allen pass just let it stay there for about 20-30 seconds allow it to seal the, the pores It was a very enjoyable shave and um, the slickness and the cushioning of this ladder it's really something the next step for uh, the end of the shave for me is the tires product let's see here uh, and yeah if you wonder about the ladder the 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 tire puck is so slippery now with its original box. 
this is all leather on, on the on the edge plenty more left on the brush as you can see probably the neighbors around can shave <laughs> with this and more in the bowl as well for the final step maybe uh, always refreshing to end with a nice aftershave balm just put a little bit on the fingers that's it for today what a great soap this was fantastic shave with or without sensitive skin canada shaving soap i think that anyone should try it amazing leather very comfortable shave if you like the content feel free to like subscribe uh, and mention in the comments what's your favorite shaving soap thanks everybody take care